Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, go ahead, click subscribe, click the, click the bell, click the, give me thumbs up. Today I'm gonna show you guys the difference between Mexican made and US made Toyota Tacoma. There's a lot of misinformation, there's a lot of garbage out there. Don't believe everything you read on forums because there's a lot of people that hate company success and hate somebody else's success. So they will post all kind of garbage because they're not the one who's successful. So let's begin. I went to the dealership and took a few pictures, few videos. And so this is the first Tacoma on our list. Take, let's take a look what's where this one is made. If you look at it from uh, this picture, you see the VIN number, it starts with a three. Three is automatic sign, it's made in Mexico. And actually you can see a final assembly is Mexico. So what it means, assembly, the car was assembled, not really, or you can say maybe built, you know what I mean? I guess it open to interpretation. But what's more important, you gotta look at the, where's the engine come from, parts come from. Look at the engine, engine parts US, transmission parts Thailand. Well, it's a manual transmission. So it kind of explains why, why transmission is Thailand because it's manual transmission. I guess they don't make them here in US. Look at the engine parts, where they come from US, even though it's made in Mexico, assembled actually. They take the parts from all over the place and they put it together. Look at the Japan content. The U.S. and Canada parts count is 55%. Japanese content is 15%. So if you add this together, equals to 70%, 55 plus 15. So what happens to the other 20%? Where is the 20 other percent of the parts comes from? Who knows? It doesn't say on a sticker. So as you can see, it's not that it's parts made in Mexico. We don't know where the other 20% is made but that doesn't make the car quality bad. Let's look at uh, another vehicle. Well, it's actually the same thing, same vehicle, but a short video. As you can see, you can pause it if you want to and read the sticker and I'll show you another sticker actually. Here is the details. If you pause it, it's 3.5 engine six speed manual transmission. So the manual transmission does uh, on this Mexican made Tacoma came from Thailand. Let's look at another one. Here's another vehicle. Again, VIN number starts with three, assembled, assembled. So meaning they take the parts from different places, they put it together. Not any different than the ones that built in US. And you will see, I'll show you in this video too. As you can see again, 15% Japan, 55% US and Canada parts, that's 70%. Uh, this is a different one. And transmission is US because it's automatic. Transmission parts, what does it mean transmission engine parts? Does it mean the whole transmission, the whole entire engine has been built in US or just the parts that come from US and it's built somewhere else? Don't know, it doesn't, this, this picture on the screen doesn't give us much details. We do not know exactly what it, what that means, but you can see another Mexican made, but parts come from US. Let's take a look at a short video right there. You can pause it, same thing. It just made a video, took a pictures, made a video, so you can see some details. When you look at the car on outside, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference where the car came from, actually. <clears throat> there is more details. You can pause it and read it on your own. Yeah, I'm moving the camera fast. Didn't realize until it was recorded. So here's another one. Red, beautiful Tacoma. Not everyone's color, but some people like the color. So let's take a look and see what's going on with this one. Same, same, same thing, you know what I mean? This one is made in, not in uh, Mexico. This one is made in probably USA, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we'll see what the picture says, actually. Okay, final assembly, Texas. So this one is made in US. Look at the engine. Engine parts, Japan. Transmission, US. 
And if you look at a more more up close on the screen, see where the fine uh, U.S. and Canada parts count at 55 percent, 15 percent. So it doesn't matter if it's a Mexican made or uh, U.S. made; they still same content. Why is the engine parts on this one is Japan? Well, because the four cylinder, four cylinder is different. Same thing with the transmission manuals; it comes from a different place. But if this was a V6, well, it would have been the same thing. There you go, just a short video, as you can see it on the screen. So this is just a, another example of U.S. made. So we had two Mexican made and U.S. made Tacoma. As you can see, it's a, it's a different engine. This one is automatic transmission is made in, doesn't matter where, it's still U.S., no matter where the vehicle sound. This is another Tacoma. Uh, there was no other, the other sticker was not available, so only you're going to see only one sticker from this vehicle uh, from the same dealerships. They're hard to find those cars. And if you look at it, this is another uh, Mexican made car. You look at that engine where it comes from. It comes from USA, transmission parts, USA. So it's still 70% with. We know where it comes from. The other 30% of the parts, we don't know where it comes from. So it doesn't matter where it's made, but it matters where the parts are made. Because the final assembly, here is a good example. We're going to look at it, actually. So, like I said, it doesn't matter where the, where the car is assembled. It matters where the parts come from. Here is a good example I want to show you guys. If you search on... Auto Trader for high mileage Toyota Tacoma, and see there's a lot of people say they have problems with their uh, with engines and transmissions, so that's a lot of mis misinformation there. So let's take a look at it, 2016 and up Toyota Tacomas, and see what do we have, what's available for sale, and what mileage. So this is across US. 2016 app where they have updated uh, engine and transmission. I'm not sure about transmission, but I know uh, engine has been updated. So look at the first one. The, if you look at the VIN number, it says it has a five. So it's made in US. High mileage. Look at the history. There is no, and you can pause the reader. There is no engine replacement. There is no transmission replacement. There is no engine repairs in, in a history. So when people say, the car has a problem, or it's problematic, or it's not reliable. Well, that's a false information. Look at the mileage, look at the service. 211,000. Trouble free. Well, this one is U.S. made. Someone might say, well, it's, it's U.S. made, so it's going to be different than Mexican made. Well, let's take a look what's Mexican made has to offer. So 211, trouble free, miles from 3.5 engine let's take a look at another one that one right there the mileage 252 this is a win number starts with a three mexican made 200 so more mileage 253 look at the history 252 pretty much 253,000. Look at the history. There is no engine replacements. There is no transmission replacement. There is no engine or transmission repairs. So this one is reliable. So not any worse than the, than the one that I showed you on American made, Texas made Tacoma. No problems. If there were problems, we would have showed up on car list, on a Carfax list. Let's take a look at another one. So this one is Mexican made. 253,000 at most. As you can see, you know what I mean. And you can pause it. If I'm going too fast, go ahead, pause it and read it on your own. Let's look at another one. A white one. Look at the VIN number. It starts with three. Mexican made. Tacoma. Look at the mileage. 202,000. Impressive, isn't it? 200,000 plus miles. No engine repairs, no engine replacements, no transmission repairs, no transmission replacements. A super reliable, high mileage Tacoma. There is no suspension repairs or replacement, nothing. It just shows you <coughs> that 
what matters the most where the parts come from, not where it's assembled. Let's look at the competitors. Let's look at Chevy. How many Chevys out there with 200,000 miles from 2016? Let's see. Let's take a look at the history. What's out there? There is no. There is no Chevy from 2016 and up high mileage. Same thing. We're looking across US from the zip code unlimited mileage. So there you go. It shows you so there is there is more Tacomas on the road with high mileage because they last longer. Just because they people say uh, quality in Mexican made, that's just a nonsense. There is no quality issues with that. They just assemble there to the same standards that it's in the US. See, there's no Chevys. No Chevys high mileage available. Why? Because people are here. Let's look at the Ford. Ford is newer and it only came out in 2019. So you're not gonna see much. <clears throat> you're not gonna see much of a Ford uh, details. There is few 2011s that I was able to see high mileage. Even then, the Carfax is not even, I couldn't even see what's there in a history, you know what I mean? If the engines were replaced or transmissions. There is one high mileage four cylinder Ranger on that list, but that high mileage four cylinder Ranger, as everyone knows, four cylinder Ranger is not even a Ford engine, it's a Mazda engine in that Ford Ranger. So that doesn't even probably count or maybe counts, I don't know. It's that it's reliable and I'm not sure how reliable that is actually it's just I didn't look close enough to say it is or not but just to see that there is high mileage older ones but very few and, and with history is, is unknown nothing newer is available so so there you go as you guys can see you know uh, high mileage Tacomas either Mexican or US made are quality cars so don't forget to share this video with others and thank you.